Hello everyone, I am Melissa with the Volusia County Public Library and I'm going to be showing you today how to make some really cool fall leaves out of beads and wire. I'm going to move them this way so you can see. So here are the leaves that I've already made. So for our materials, we're going to need just a piece of plain paper, a pencil, I have some silver 20 gauge wire and I have some copper colored 24 gauge wire. And you can get these at the hardware store, at the craft store. The smaller the number, the bigger the wire. So the 20 gauge wire is what we're gonna use for the outside of the leaf and the middle main stem, this part here, and then the 24 gauge copper wire we're gonna use for the veins, the veins of the, the leaf and where we're gonna put our beads. There's gonna be a lot of twisting, a lot of twisting, not, it's not too much cutting, but you will need some wire cutters and some needle nose pliers will be helpful. If you don't have them, it's okay. But if you do have them, you might not necessarily need the wire cutters because most needle nose pliers have a wire cutter already on that. Um, I've also got lots of different kinds of beads. I tried to choose fall colors. So first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna draw your leaf. Now when I made this one, I just drew a super basic leaf, okay? And you can see that it's about half the size of the paper, okay? So, um, but you can make them smaller or bigger. So, this one's this is gonna be about the same. And we're going to use this as a guide to measure and cut our wire. So you can just start out with a little bit more on the end because that is going to be where your stem is and where we're going to wrap it. With the thicker wire, it is a little harder to bend it, so that's what our awesome needle nose pliers are for. And then when we get to the end of our leaf, we can use our needle nose pliers to bend that wire to the point of our leaf. So we have the basic measurements of our leaf, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap. You're just wrapping around the bottom of the stem so that you don't have that point from the end sticking out. And so that it looks cool. And then wrap toward yourself. And then we're gonna straighten it and kind of go around the bottom. And then we're gonna make the inside part of our leaf that's gonna hold all the veins. Like I said, a lot of twisting involved.
and then we're gonna cut it. I'm using my needle nose pliers to cut it. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Crafts rarely ever are perfect. And we're gonna just use our pliers to kind of press that into itself so we don't have any sharp things sticking out. So here's our leaf. Just the, the skeleton of it. Now we're gonna use our thinner wire and we're gonna wrap, this is a lot of wrapping, we're gonna wrap and make the little inside veins with some colorful beads on it. Okay, so we aren't really gonna measure how much wire we're gonna use. Um, we're just gonna guesstimate. It's not really a precise thing. So use your paper kind of as a guide and we're just gonna go one, two, three lengths. because it's gonna be hard to, it would be very hard to wrap wire with this still attached. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna start wrapping this around the outside of our leaf. You can go up, I'm going up the right side and I'm just wrapping it around the silver, the silver part. I'm gonna go a little bit higher. And this is where I'm going to stop. Right here. And I'm gonna make it go in like this. If you can see that, let's see. So, we're just gonna go ahead and put our beads on. So, when you're, when you're putting the beads on, if you want, you can, have, you can have a method, a pattern. I just like to willy-nilly do it, because I think it looks cool. And we're putting them on the end of our wire. This is a sparkly one, I like this one. And then we're just gonna do that whole little section right there with beads. All right, and once we've got enough beads on there, we will wrap this around. Gonna get the end of our wire. See, if you have too much wire, then it's, it's hard to work with too. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap that around like we're kind of tying it in place, but we don't need to make a knot or anything. We're just gonna wrap it around one more time. And then we're gonna go out this way. So we're gonna go ahead and do some beads on this side now. All right, and so here's my first little section of veins with the beads. Now we're just gonna wrap it around to hold it in place and we're gonna keep wrapping up. All right, we're gonna go about halfway up. All right, and this time we're gonna go down here. You see? So here is our second row of beads. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did at the bottom. We're gonna wrap it around. And I wrap it around twice, kind of pull on it to hold it in place. Now we're 
we're gonna go up this way. I really like these orange, orange and black ones because they remind me of Halloween. All right, and now we've got our second sign, our second vein. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did before, twist up, just twist it around the skeleton, I guess you could call it, of your leaf. And I think that's probably a good place to do our last row of beads. So we're gonna take some beads. And just like before. So I've got my final row of beads on the left side. Now I'm gonna wrap my wire around. hold it in place and now we're going to do the final row of beads okay I think this should do it yep it's perfect so now we are going to wrap that wire around and we're just gonna wrap it as far as we can. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it, wrap it as far as it'll go around, around the outside of my leaf. If you want, you could go down the middle. I'm just gonna go around the outside. Now I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. You can keep wrapping if you'd like as far as you would like to go but I'm gonna choose this as my ending place and I'm just gonna cut and use my wire cutters and cut as close as I can to the end and then use my needle nose pliers to kind of squeeze that end into, into itself. So there is our finished fall leaf. So I hope you had as much fun as I did making this project, our beaded wire fall leaf. Remember, you can do this however you want. You can play around, do whatever works for you. If you like this video and would like to check out more videos by Volusia County Public Library, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and we also have tons of craft and art books that have all kinds of cool ideas like this, books about beading, books about using wire, and they're all available to you at any one of our 14 branches. We also have ebooks available, and we have Creative Bug, which is an online tutorial that uses videos to show you how to make all kinds of cool arts and crafts projects. And it's free to you with your Volusia County Public Library membership.